Hi, I'm Raquel Freye. I will show you the backhand stroke requires you to use your thumb so you should now press your thumb on the wider surface of the badminton grip. Relax your index finger and move it closer to your middle finger. The backhand grip will look like you're doing a thumbs up. The next one is a forehand grip. Your thumb does not necessarily have to press against the wider surface of the badminton grip for a forehand stroke. Your index finger should be the one in control in a forehand stroke. This simply means using your index finger to push the racket forward while doing a forehand stroke. And now, the four types of serving. The first one is low serve. The low serve allows you some flexibility because you can use either forehand or backhand and will be most effective if you allow the birdie to float just over the top of the net. This will allow the birdie to land very near to the short service line and will require your opponent to run forward and hopefully miss the play. The next one is high serve. When playing singles, consider using high serve to drive the birdie deep into your opponent's court. Make sure not to use this serve too often as your opponent will come to expect it and learn to stay near the back of his court during your service. And then, flick serve. The flick serve should be used sparingly because it can be a fairly easy serve to play if expected. Use this serve no more than once every 5 serves to keep your opponent guessing. When executing low serve, gently tapping the birdie over the net. Flick your wrist quickly to bring the birdie unexpectedly into your opponent's backcourt. And then lastly, drive serve. It is an extremely risky serve. If you determine that your opponent has a slow reaction time, it is best to throw in the drive serve occasionally, as you are likely to get the point. The drive serve is executed using forehand underarm actions. It should be a quick serve and the birdie should go low over the net and deep into your opponent's court.